Guys, today we want to speak about Zafron and how important Zafron is in Persian cuisine. Obviously, most of you are familiar with Zafron, but you may not be familiar that the best Zafron in the world comes from Iran, or what we call Persian uh, Zafron. The purest that you can find in the market is from Iran. We have so many different varieties, or if you like, qualities of Zafron in the market. Most of it is actually uh, Spanish uh, Zafron. However, Persian Zafron is in a class of its own. So what's the difference? How do you know in terms of quality of the Zafron that you're buying? Well, before we go into the details, what I can tell you is that in uh, Patok, uh, we only use pure and the purest form of uh, Persian Zafron that you can find in the market. And we import it directly from Iran. So let's have a closer look. This is our Persian Zafron. Just look at how beautiful this is. So how do you know if Zafron is pure? So if you can see over here, Zafron comes from the stigmas, from the Crocus sativus plant. Um, it's very unique and only a few of these stigmas actually uh, are grown from each plant. And that's one of the reasons why it's uh, so expensive in terms of harvesting. And how do you know if it's pure and the quality? Well, if you look at each strand of the stigmas here, it's completely red. Um, or like a maroon color. The darker the color and the more uniformed, i.e. there's no white or yellow stems, then you know that it's pure. Um, and from this afron here, you can see it's completely maroon. Completely maroon. The, the aroma is unbelievable. And this, once it's harvested, it needs to be dried for at least six months uh, minimum for it to produce its unique sense of aroma um, and taste. So Zafron in the market right now, you can find from anywhere from uh, five pounds a gram all the way up to 20, 30 pounds a gram. Persian Zafron, the purest that you can find is up to 50 pounds a gram. Um, it's an expensive um, ingredient, it's an expensive spice, it's an expensive condiment to uh, Persian cuisine. Um, but it adds so much flavor and uniqueness in terms, in terms of aroma to a Persian dish. Um, and contrary to what most people believe, Persian food is not spicy. Uh, we use the most subtle of uh, herbs and spices to bring a balance of flavors infused to give you the most enjoyable experience that you can uh, have. Um, and Zafron is a unique um, ingredient that we use in a lot of Persian cuisine. In uh, Patok, we use the most purest um, and, if you like, the most expensive uh, Zafron that you can find. Hence the reason why certain um, of our dishes like the Zafron chicken um, or our uh, Digi sauce um, or our Juja kabab, which is marinated with onions and Zafron, um, has such a unique uh, flavor combination and also the smell is unbelievable. So, Next time you find Zafron in the supermarket, watch out for the details that I told you and know that Persian Zafron is the best um, and the purest you can find, the darker the stems or the stigmas um, and uniformed in terms of color. So, Patog is your local hangout for Persian street food and we're happy to be using pure Persian Zafron. Okay guys, so these are just some of the dishes that we have where we're using Zafron. So we've got our famous Zafron, uh, chicken stew with barberries, which is a take um, on the Zeresh polo with uh, chicken and barberries, and this is obviously served with rice. We also have our famous kebab diggies. Diggy basically is a pot, kebab diggy is a patty, either the vegan or non vegan version, where we pan fry and we have a rich tomato and saffron sauce with it, and rice and roasted chilies and cherry tomatoes. This is our juja kebab, our famous chicken kebab which is marinated in saffron and onion, and of course, again, served with Persian rice. And then we have our famous stews. So this is our gaime stew, and we have two types. We have khoresh uh, gaime, which is our split pea lentil soup with shoestring fries on top. And we also have the vegan and non-vegan options. And then we have the gaime badanjang, which is the same stew, but instead of shoestring uh, fries, we got uh, fried aubergine. And all of our kasa kebabs, which is basically kebabs in a bowl with rice, 
all comes with a saffron, butter, lemon and herb sauce that goes on top, makes it a perfect combination.